guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. And today I have a thrift haul for you. It's one of my favorite things to do to thrift and find awesome treasures and I love to share it with you. So make sure you stay till the end of this video because I have a special announcement for an upcoming open collab that I want to invite you to. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you some items that I found at a garage sale recently. For some reason, I've been into Avon lately. I'm not sure why. But I found this boxed item, and I love the box. <laughs> and it was marked $3, and I asked if I could have it for 2 because I bought some other items at this garage sale, and they said yes. And it's this little coffee pot. I just love it. I love the design. And it says Field Flowers Foaming Bath Oil on the bottom. I'm not going to use it for the bath oil. It's still in there. But the name on it is Coffee Clatch. I think I said that already. <laughs> but here's how it's spelled. So I guess it's a little coffee pot. At first I thought it was a teapot. But then when I read it, it says Coffee Clatch. So I think it looks cute in this room because I have accents of yellow in here. So I'm not sure where it will end up, but I really like that for $2. At that same garage sale, I got this cutting board for $0.75. Cents. Now, I don't like the design on it. Um, I think I'll redo it. Oops, it looks like it caught on fire. <laughs> but I love the little leather hanger thing and the shape of it and everything. So what would you do with this if you bought this at a garage sale? How would you make it over? I've seen a lot of cool ideas lately with cutting boards and so I'm sure I'll be able to come up with something. So I thought that was a good deal for 75 cents. Also at that same garage sale I found this cutie pie. I am a child of the 70s and I love smiley faces. I already have one that I got at another garage sale and it's in my grandkids room and it's just for decor so I might put that over there but I also again think the yellow looks really good in this room so maybe it'll end up here we'll have to see um, that was 50 cents same garage sale I got this milk bucket now I'm not really interested in the design that's on it it says good housekeeping May of, I believe it says 1920, 25 cents, and it's this adorable little girl feeding her kitten a saucer of milk. So I would love to give that a makeover, and for 50 cents, I thought, why not? I also picked up a practical item. This was brand new, and it's called Studio Line Mega Moose, and it was $1.00. So I will use that for my hair. And I got a piece of clothing. These are capris and I wanted to show you the pockets. They have these adorable butterflies on. And then there's also a butterfly sewn on the front pocket. And like I said, they're capris and I like the, the bottoms, they're frayed but you could also fold them if you didn't like them frayed like that and make a clean edge so I thought these were really cute they're my size they're from Christopher and Banks and they're two dollars so these things can get really pricey at Christopher and Banks when they're new they're like probably thirty forty dollars now yesterday we went out to eat with some family and there was an estate sale on the way home I had tried to go to it on Friday, but the weather was really yucky, and I don't have asthma, but I get kind of fussed up when it's cold weather in the fall because I'm allergic to everything. So I tried to go on Friday, but I just couldn't stand waiting outside any longer, so I gave up. So my husband indulged me, and we stopped there on the way home from eating out, and boy am I glad we did. I got some really cool stuff. 
So let me show you. Lately I've been into transistor radios. I found this little cutie. It was marked $2, but they gave it to me. Let me see. I got my receipt here. Yeah, for 50 cents. Most everything was 75% off. There was only two hours left to this estate sale. So I hit it at perfect timing. There's a little belt clip on the back, and then here's where you put the batteries. I haven't even tried it yet, but even if it doesn't work, I just love the looks of it for display. So 50 cents for that. And then I also got a tool. Recently, I, I um, did a makeover on an old toolbox that I got at a garage sale for a dollar. And I'll insert the video either in the description box or in the cards if you missed that. And I've been collecting tools for my toolbox, my very own toolbox for crafting. And I got these at the garage sale for a quarter. Nice pair of pliers. I was looking at them. I didn't see a name on them. It just says India 150. So I don't think they're like craftsmen or anything. Um, but for my purposes, they work just fine. I already used them today for something. Those were a quarter. And then, let me see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. Okay, I'm down to my two favorite items. So this is my runner-up item, also from the estate sale. This, they called it a cookie jar. I guess it could be. There was two tags on it. There was a dollar tag, and then up top, there was a $2 tag. They gave it to me for 25 cents. So I wanted to show you as is before I clean it up. There's some green paint on the top, and, it, and I checked it flakes right off, and then there's some green paint down in the bottom as well. So I need to clean it up, but they gave it to me for a quarter. I can't believe that. So I'm going to be using this right here in my craft room to store crafting supplies. So I'm not sure what yet, but... Um, I'm in my head I'm thinking maybe lace trims would be cute in this but we'll have to see what I come up with so this was my runner-up item for today and now for my very favorite item if you've been watching my videos lately you know I'm on an afghan kick <laughs> I am crazy about afghans or is it afghans 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 tomato tomato Anyways, I found this at the estate sale. It's so soft. I've already washed it, and it smells like my Downies Unstoppables. But look at these colors. Don't they scream fall? So I got this for $1. I cannot believe it. I'm going to check my receipt again. Yes, it says blanket. $1. I mean... Look at all the work in this. And I'm so excited to use it and cuddle up on my couch with it on these fall evenings. I might even keep it out for winter. We'll see. <laughs> so, like I always do, I would love for you to share your favorite item or favorite items if you have more than one. And let me know what you liked from my haul. Now, thanks for staying till the end. I'm super excited to share with you an upcoming collab. It's called Deck the Halls with Vintage Christmas. And I am hosting and I've asked Erin from the Collection Vintage to host with me. And she said yes. I am super excited because I've watched Erin for a long time. Back Started back when she was Gentle Thrifty Mama. And she's always been one of my favorites. I love her thrifting style her style of decorating. I love her style. <laughs> and so I was very happy when she agreed to host with me. Now this is an open collab and what we would like you to do is to show us your Christmas vintage thrifted items. So you can show us your haul and tell us about what you got, where you got it, and the collab is going to be on Monday, November 23rd, and we will have you post your videos at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. There will be a playlist, and it will be available for you to post on the day before, which will be Sunday, November 22nd, also at 7 p.m., so it's easy to remember. 
So what you need to do is add your video to the playlist, link your playlist in your description box, mention both of our channels, and put our channels in your description box as well. There will be a hashtag. It's Deck the Halls with Christmas Vintage. So you can link that into your video. And I will also put the hashtag in with all the directions or all the rules, however you want to say. They will be over linked on my community tab and Erin will link them on her community tab as well. And that's all the details for the collab, easy peasy. So I hope that you can join us if you are a creator and join in on the fun. And if not, if you're not a creator, you can still join in by coming over and watching our playlist. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. Don't forget to share your favorite item or favorite items with me in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.